Hi everyone, welcome back to my art channel. Today I will share with you how I animate with Procreate Dreams step by step. I wish I knew these steps before using Procreate Dreams. I would recommend starting your sketches in regular Procreate first. Why? Because honestly, Procreate Dreams can be a little bit laggy with the drawing pad. We want that smooth creative flow. Now, when you are sketching and procreate, remember to use different layers. Do not combine them, especially if you want to animate certain layers. Here we have eight layers. Make sure that you have unselected the background colors so that all the layers can be saved with a transparent background. Next, hit share. Choose PNG files and save those eight images. They should be in your photo apps with black backgrounds. That means they are transparent. Let's open Procreate Dreams. Here we will choose the social size for the canvas. Once you are in Procreate Dreams, let's import those layers. Go to plus and click photo select the first layers that we are going to use as background you will see this icon go to move and scale now we can resize the layer go to plus again this time make sure you select track so we are adding a new track go to plus again select photo select the second layer that you want to insert resize it again go to plus again select track so we are still adding a new track go to plus select photo select the third layer this layer is the lighting, so we are going to adjust and resize it and we will adjust the opacity. Click this icon, click filter and select opacity. So now you can adjust the opacity of the lighting. At the fourth layer, the steps are the same. Go to plus, make sure you select track, go to plus again, select photo, select the fourth layer. We are importing the forms and now we are going to resize it. And then now we are, I think we are at the fifth layers. Now we are going to add the hair. So this is the layers that we are going to animate later. Make sure you resize it, place it at the place that you want it to be. And that's it. Plus, add track. Go to photos, add another layers. Um, we have the body imported from Procreate. So make sure that you select the uh, point at the top angle so that you can resize it rather than squishing the uh, image. Go to plus again and we are adding the last layer into Procreate Dreams. Same step. Now we can see that we are adding the layer with the bubble. So we're resizing it just like the previous step. So we have placed the bubble in the middle and I want to adjust the opacity of the bubble. Go to filter, go to opacity and adjust the opacity. Now we are almost done and let's get to the fun part. We will now animating the bubble and also make the wavy hair. Go to the layer with the hair Select the record button, click 
click this icon and select wrap. Adjust the horizontal controls and vertical controls that you can see more dots appearing on the screen. We can select a point that we want the hair to move. You can see that each movement is being recorded. Just move it slowly and all these small little movements will be recorded on the track. So we almost done as you can see that these are all movements being recorded and we're gonna just keep going until the end of the track. Okay. Once we have completed animating the hair on the right side, we are going to animate the hair on the left side. Make sure you drag this icon back to the beginning of the track. Select wrap again. Now we will see different points which you can drag on. Select a point to create movement for the hair. Now we can see the hair is moving. It's quite amazing, isn't it? You can see that the hair on the right hand side is also moving. We, just, we are gonna just keep going and make sure that the movement is recorded until the end of the track. Once you're done, remember to drag this icon all the way back to the beginning of the track. And now we can proceed with the next step. Um, same step, click wrap, and then you can see all the points appearing on the screen and you can start moving the hair on top of the head. It only requires very small movement to create baby hair, so you I need to be very patient to create very small movement for the hair on top and then you can see that the hair on the left and the right are moving so we're done with the hair and go to the next layers we are now gonna animate the bubble uh, on the right track so make sure that you select the uh, layers with the bubble this time we just want to move the bubble around without changing the size and the shape of the bubble select move and scale instead of wrap move the bubble in circle or up and down depending on what movement you want the bubble to have here we are just going to move the bubble in circle very tiny movement and like i mentioned before if you click on the record button all the small movement will be recorded Simple steps like this, we have completed a soothing animation. Let's have a look. It's not too bad, isn't it? We will now export the animation, save it in videos. Uh, we are now exporting the video. Close Procreate Dreams and go to your photo app. You should be able to see the animation there. Let's have a look. Hope this video helps if you are looking to create simple animation like this. Please subscribe or share. I will see you in the next video. Bye!